Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. A little late in the day, but we finally got around to doing the Sunday rant. Uh, I'm sure no one looks forward to this, especially some of the reviewers out there, even the ones on my list, shouldn't be too thrilled with it. We're going to go over a couple of things. The Galaxy Fold and Bezelous phones and the stupidity of Bezelous phones. And I'll tell you why later. In this segment, though, first thing. The Samsung Galaxy Fold. It went on to reviewers. A bunch of guys got handed a free B2000 dollar tablet that turns into a very substandard phone. I mean, this phone had a display smaller than my 2015 display. Um, you know, it is more like getting an iPhone. So here's an iPhone 7. And from the same people who kept spouting out thinner, thinner, thinner until the batteries got so small that you know, an iPhone wouldn't last through the first eight minutes of the day. Uh, oh, well, thicker's okay because it unfolds into a tablet. Okay, this is something none of us asked for. I mean, if you go over to India or China, there's a whole bunch of people using 7-inch, 70 or $80 tablets on LTE. They can surf the web. They can make a phone call, or they can use this big speakerphone, or they can play games on it. It's not, you know, it's not unwieldy like a 12-inch or you know, a convertible. It's not heavy. It's easy to carry. A seven inch tablet almost fit in your back pocket, might fit in some front pockets. Got cargo pants, it'll definitely fit. Well, uh, the problem here was the reviewers who got a hold of them. Not one of these jolly jackasses came out and said flat out, This should never have been released to the reviewers, let alone put on pre-order. This is a product that's not ready for prime time. It ain't even ready to compete with the soap operas, folks. It was junk. It, it, the very nature of that foldable OLED display means it has to be very thin. So you don't you know, get the crease in it. And it's easily damaged. I can't wait till the Mate uh, foldable comes out, whatever it's called, from Huawei. I'm guessing Huawei's just going to say, oh, screw this. And then they, a couple of them dissed on the... Uh, the razor where they're talking about coming out with it. Well, there's when it folds the LED or OLED separates in the middle of the loop. So, you know, it's not part of the fold. It's not totally wrapped. So <laughs> it doesn't get a crease. Pretty cool. Good idea and more useful. I mean, it allows you to have a old fashioned flip phone considerably larger than the old-fashioned flip phones. It's not a tablet and a phone. It doesn't have two screens. It's got one big one. But now you can stuff it in your pocket and you won't damage the display. It's not going to get bent up. And yeah, it's thicker because it's got a little bit spacing in there. So we don't get that fold in what is essentially a piece of hard plastic that's extremely thin and uh, I did unload on uh, one reviewer he's got two three hundred thousand subscribers he's not on my list of people I trust because he tends to be incredibly positive about everything he gets for free that's not a good thing I want to see guys like AMD tech Chris over tech tablets guys who will 
absolutely nitpick the crap out of something. Point out all the downsides. And these guys, had they had one, would have said, you yeah, know, this should have never been out there. I guarantee uh, it just wasn't ready. This is a marketing campaign. Who's got the bigger balls? And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get too detailed there. Yeah, not good. So, that being said, we're going to get on to the next segment. After I think about exactly what I'm going to say in that one, this one took me 20 minutes of rehearsing to talk about. Yeah, it takes time. You can't just get out of bed like I just did and start blabbering. We'll get to it in two seconds. All right, so back again. Uh, so we're going to talk about bezel-less bonds. Let's face it, folks, there, there's this extremely shrinking level of innovation among bonds. It's down to a hole. That's what we got. Yeah, first we had knots, then we had a hole. Anything to get rid of bezels. And that's, uh, that's all well and good. You know, they look good. It's a okay idea. They're not always so great in reality. Um, my new mobile G3 is, it got very tiny bezels. Considering it's a, what, a $200 smartphone, you can get it for $179. I'll link it below in the description. Sometimes I don't get very good reception here on the phone, so I will stick it in this little holder that I got years ago with an Asus tablet. But here's the case for it. We're filming on it right now without a case. Oh my god! Yeah, well, if it falls here, it's going to hit carpeting. It won't fit in here properly. It just won't. You know why? The ends are a little thicker on the Kudia case here than they are on the sides. But the sides cover up those almost non-existent bezels. And so when you reach your thumb over, like, you know, let's pretend there's a thumb there. Ooh, my thumb's going up and over and the fleshy part of my palm is not hitting it. So yesterday I had it sitting in there, and today, and every time I grabbed it, I got one of these. Picture upcoming. Crappy picture, because I had to take it with the old studio and the lighting wasn't good. I took it this morning, but deal with it. I, you know, it's like as if I had pressed the button you know, on the screen in the blank area, and it goes down to widgets or wallpaper. Yeah. Like, no, I didn't want to do that. Or sometimes I see app info, or sometimes the assistant opens, and I'm like, what the hell did I do? Never happens when the case is on So, as far as the side bezels go, y'all can shut up about those. I'm good with a that much. Eh. Well, that my side bezel. Enough? Or a case. Now, of course, if you're one of those folks that, oh, it's a beautiful phone, I can leave it outside of a case. Well, uh, you might be an idiot. I know. There's guys who don't like cases. I understand that. Most of them don't like it. God knows why it, it does make the phone thicker. Oh, God forbid. But you were all excited about the Galaxy Fold, weren't you? That was like thicker than any. And, and there's laptops thinner than that. So, bezel is anything, has its limitations. Let's look at those. Uh, let's say, let's think about it. You have two rectangles, right? And a tablet. 
or a, a notebook, laptop. So you have the keyboard. It's a certain amount wide. And you have the display. And so you get a 13.3 or 15.6. And they're all, oh, it's so bezel-ish. And the next thing I hear is, one's kind of, you know, there's a little flex in the top. No shit. Mm-hmm. And then they get down to the keyboard part of their reviews, and they're like, well, the keyboard's a little cramped. No shit. Sorry. Excuse my French again. Uh, they're not going to make the keyboard section wider to accommodate your typing pleasure. And then shrink down the bezels for your viewing pleasure. Look, if you're staring at the bezel, what the hell is wrong with you? Do you stare at the side posts in your car? You know, oh, look, your windshield has got bezels. Same thing. Would you tolerate a phone or a tablet? Let's say, oh, I don't know how to do this. Oh. Yeah, right there. Oh, we're going to cut that out. <laughs> Except it'd be black. No. Show you in a second here. You wouldn't. Not on your phone, not on your tablet, not on your monitor. And so today I was looking at my mon the monitor I just ordered. Thank God. Uh, right now I'm so tired of using my Chewy HI 12 because I'm using up its display and constantly having to charge it so I can see what's on the. Uh, machine that I process the videos on. Mm. Diet Coke. Caffeine. Yummy. Uh, so, we're going to get to that in a second, but I am going to kind of segue in for a moment to, uh, if you look back a few days, you know, go to my channel, the actual channel page. I'll link that. Well, if you don't know how to get to my channel page, uh, you're probably new to YouTube. Time to learn. Mm -hmm. And uh, about three or four videos back, I'm giving away a Mint Mobile card. Pretty simple. Just all you got to do is leave a comment. You don't have to be a subscriber. You just have to live in the United States of America. Sorry, Canada, you're out. I, don't, I just honestly don't know if T-Mobile has coverage up there. Uh, but if you're overseas and a soldier, maybe your wife's at home and she uses T-Mobile. Or if you're a, and that was kind of sexist, maybe you're a soldier and your husband's at home. And he's using T-Mobile. Three months of free service. Throw it in your phone. All you gotta do is say, well, I live in this city and this state. That's all you have to say. I'll check the T-Mobile map and, oh, and a thank you would be nice. Like Brian Sanders or Saunders did. He never answered when I responded to his comment. He never emailed me his address. Now I'm going to tell you the address right now. It's highendcheaptech at gmail.com. Ah, let me spell it. I'm not going to put it out there again. It's already under, if you look at the reply to Brian, H-I-E-N-D-T-E-C-H at gmail.com. If you have a real computer or a tablet, you know, something good size, you'll see where it says business email. You click on it, you check the box to prove you're not a robot. It'll give you the address and you can copy paste it into your email program of choice. And I'll, uh, first person, 
Now I'm tired of this thing. I got it off my desk. And now it's in my briefcase over here that I take to work every day. And I just want it gone. I can't use it. No reason somebody else can't. Three months of service. I think it's like three gig a month. It's the same card they're giving away with all the new and new you mobile USA phones they're selling. And they'll probably give it away with the new G4. Uh, it's a GSM phone. It's got, got you covered. Yeah, that one is. Um, as long as you're in a T-Mobile area, it's not going to work with at and It's not going to work with other, yeah, yeah. Can probably go to Mint Mobile and check. Well, no, just make sure. If you got T-Mobile in the area, it's going to work. Okay, New York, Olympia, Washington, Portland, Oregon. These are places I know for sure because, like, my Project 13 uses T-Mobile. Uh, the guy in Portland, Oregon, Brian Sanders, who didn't reply. If he does, I will get him the card tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but I'll mail it. So, now let's move on. I'm going to show you some pretty pictures and talk a little about the notch and bezel stuff. A little more from me behind the camera perspective. Hi right, folks, uh, now we're looking at the Dell, which is, means I have to talk quickly because any time now it's going to go bleh and go black. But, sorry for the lousy uh, uh, audio visual aid here, some electrical tape. But would you buy a, a cutout on your monitor just so they could put a webcam over there or on the top of course i wouldn't you yeah, wouldn't let's face it ain't happening so we're gonna know that and turn the monitor back off while well, i still have like a day's worth of use left out of it maybe so i got the glow coming off of it. so that looks good down here would you boy Yeah. Uh, cut out like that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Uh, got no idea. Oh, channel art. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Channel art. Come on. Go away. <laughs> you would. Would you? No. But yet yeah, you'll tolerate it on a smartphone. Rather than having a small bezel at the top. Now Ben, if you check the his Mizu 16S, I think it was, review. Check out Ben's gadget reviews. He's over here at my list. Right down here on the screen somewhere. Or hell, it might have been soon enough you can go back through here and find it. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, Alright, well, Ben's gadget reviews is on here. Somewhere. Somewhere. He better be. He's one of the resources I try. There it is. Right there. I'll link his channel in the description below. Look below, read, learn. Uh, that's all I got for today. That's my whole rant. Uh, it's not my usual rant, but let's stop with the bezel-less crap. Okay, folks? It, if you, if I can get all the reviewers I trust not to mention bezel-less crap, I will give these things up before they kill me. And I know they won't, so one of them will say something about how thin the bezels are. And one more point. If you got on a plane tomorrow and took the trip of a lifetime and went to Paris, 
you know, at the checkout, the Louvre. And you walked in and had all these beautiful Moonies and uh, Van Goghs and Da Vinci's. Would you go, oh, look at that ugly frame. Now let's think about this. I got a case on this tablet. Well, if it wasn't for them big ass bezels, how the hell would it stay in the case? Well, I use it as essentially a laptop. I can you know, scroll up and down using the keyboard. Yeah, whatever. Think about it. Yeah, I couldn't. And if I want to hold up a tablet, I don't want to have to worry about are my thumbs too fat? to hold it. I want to be able to grab that son of a bitch, you know, like get a little grip right here. I know I don't gotta worry. Now this is a 12 inch, I wouldn't sit there and hold it, so don't worry about that. The point is, bezelous is just the buzzword for we don't know what to do, so we're going to try to sell you something you don't need. No bezels! Uh, and like my new monitor, here's a picture of it. I went to uh, Spectre's website to get all the specs on this thing. I'll link this below. It'll be here Tuesday, I believe. Uh, it might get here Monday. I think I ordered it about two minutes too late yesterday. Sorry. But I got a microphone and some other stuff coming in tomorrow, which I talked about recently. We'll test those. I can give you a super honest review on those. In the Spectre, you're going to get the most honest review ever because I had to basically fork out for... Six, eight, eighty percent of it, sixty percent of it, and somebody else made a donation to help out using the link in the description below to help out the channel. You can watch that video. I'll link that at the end in the cards. Yay! Okay, that's all I got. It's going to take me a year to process this. Uh, so. Have a great day. Enjoy your Sunday. If I offended anyone, I suggest you get one of them little pocket constitution things and read it. Yeah, you'll look through the Bill of Rights and you won't see you don't. You do not have a right to be offended or to not be offended. Sorry, if you don't like something you hear, ignore it, grow up, take criticism. That's all. Catch you tomorrow night with that microphone and that little USB to a 3.5 millimeter adapter that I got for the uh, SGYD desktop mic. We'll check it out. And the Paladin, or Paladu mic, which I got to tell you about this. This is kind of weird. Uh, I checked the tracking number when Amazon said it was, you know, well, it's been sent by UPS at the BR Monday. So I look. Now, remember, I'm from a, what I consider to be a small town. When you sit between Milwaukee and Chicago, everything is a small town. The town I was from is roughly the size of Clarksville, Tennessee, so it really isn't a small town. Uh, but to me it was. When you folks from New York, it'd be like, oh, that's my neighborhood. Uh, or Chicago, even there's neighborhoods bigger. Point is, it's not a name you expect to see on your tracking thing. It says, waiting for delivery to Shipping center in Kenosha, Wisconsin, K-Town. K-E-N-O-S-H-A, look it up, it's on the corner of the border. So I had a flashback. That's all I got. C-U-T-T-A-N-O-S-H-A.
see you in the next one.